My name is B, and I'm a QA engineer here at Identity Medical. I'm here to speak about our secured narcotics cabinet. There are two main users that can access this machine. There are the doctors and the pharmacists, and each of them has different options and activities that they can perform in the machine. Today, I'll be speaking about the different activities that the pharmacist can perform. word about our machine. As you can see, this is our large machine and it contains around 1,000 cells that the pharmacist can input vials and ampules of different uh, narcotics and medications. The bottom drawer contains around 60 different cells for returns and uh, where the doctors can place any whole vials or ampules that were not used during the uh, uh, procedure or operation. Our smaller machine contains around 200 cells to input different medications and narcotics and again a returns drawer to, uh, for the doctors to return any whole or unused vials during the surgery or procedure. Something very important about what makes our system so secure and safe is the high-tech different uh, options that we have to validate who enters into the system. Each user either needs to validate with facial recognition technology using the camera as seen here on the machine or using fingerprint technology for each user individually. This is very important because it only allows specific users to access the machine and can hold each person accountable for their actions, allowing full control and total management of the system in a safe and secure manner. It is very simple and easy to enter into the system. To simply click on the press to start, the user will stand in front of the system and it will enter their face within seconds. This is the narcotics for the pharmacist. As you can see, there are many different options that the pharmacist can use. There is the fill, remove returns, maintenance and inventory. The fill option allows the pharmacist to fill the machine with different narcotics. The remove returns allows the pharmacist to empty out the returns drawer and validate what has been placed inside to hold any doctors accountable for um, the medicines that they have removed from the cabinet and then return them into the drawer accordingly. Afterwards, we have here a maintenance section which allows for general maintenance to view um, any sort of uh, different cells according to their medicine types. Uh, we have an inventory option which allows the pharmacist to manually count the inventory within the cabinet to validate what is inside. And the open cells option which allows the pharmacist to open any cells that they would like within the cabinet. Right now I will talk about the fill option and show how easy and simple it is to use. The pharmacist will click on the fill the first thing that the pharmacist needs to do is to select the different medication that they would like to fill up with the drawer. You click here on the search button and a list of products will display of what needs to be refilled in the cabinet. And the first thing that you need to do, select the medication and as you can see it even goes down to the different milligrams and concentrations of each different medication. Look at the vial that you have with you and see exactly which one you need to fill and it will show first on the screen the exact quantity that needs to be filled uh, to be at its maximum level. In the event that you have less than that, simply input the correct number that you need to fill and continue. The next thing that you need to do is input the batch or lot number of the vials and the expiration date. Simply put it in using the touch screen available and input the expiration date and click OK to go to the next screen. As you can see, the drawer will flash at the top on the screen as well as on the uh, cabinet itself, letting the user know uh, which drawer needs to be opened to fill the medications. Open the drawer and on the screen itself will display the cells that need to be filled as well as open up on the drawer itself. There are a few handy pop-ups that will display, allowing the pharmacist to keep track and manage um, all the inventory in the most accurate manner possible. Fill up the medication into the cells and once you are done, click here on column done and it will request to close the drawer and go to the next screen. The machine will now ask what the pharmacist would like to do next. They can either continue the fill which would mean to continue filling up the same medication using a different batch or expiration date. 
You can select another product, which would be to now fill out different medication that they have with them. Reopen all, which will open up the last cells that were opened in the previous uh, drawer. Or to end activity, which will take the pharmacist back to the home page. This is the fill process. The pharmacist can then repeat this until the drawer is filled with all of the medicines that they have to input into the machine. The next option that I will talk about is the remove returns. The remove returns, when clicking on it, gives you a list of doctors that have put medicine into the returns drawer of the narcotics machine. Simply, the pharmacist needs to select one of the doctors from the list and it will show exactly the dates and times that this doctor has returned medication. Select the first date and as you can see, the bottom drawer will flash on the screen, which is the returns drawer and the bottom drawer will flash as well. The pharmacist simply needs to open the drawer all the way and the cell will open up as well as on the screen flash. The pharmacist will then remove the medications from the return cell, click your column done and it will ask the pharmacist to validate what they have found in the cell. This doctor has reported that they have returned Remifentanil 5 mg 1. The pharmacist then needs to select that this is correct, write the quantity that they have found and, and uh, confirm it. This is an important thing to note because this holds everyone accountable for their actions. If a doctor has reported that they have placed one medicine inside the cell and the pharmacist finds more than one or a different medication, they're able to change the quantity and to state exactly what they have found and then follow up with this doctor at a later stage. Click on approve and you can now move on to the next doctor or to the next return that they have. Continue performing this until all of the return cells are empty and you can then fill up the drawer using these return cells. And you will now be returned to the home screen, as you can see. Other options that we have here is the maintenance and inventory. The maintenance allows for general maintenance of the system to check cells and open them. And the inventory allows for a manual count of all the different medications per drawer. This has been our secured narcotics cabinet. I've talked about all the different options that the pharmacist can perform in this cabinet. It shows how secure and safe it is to store medications in here, how simple and easy it is to manage all the different information, as well as hold everyone accountable for their actions and follow the correct procedure in helping keeping your hospital safe and secure. In addition to the narcotics cabinet, you will have a identity platform, which is a management software service that we offer, uh, which allows the pharmacist to follow up with all of the different actions that have been made in the narcotics cabinet. There are loads of handy reports, which allows the pharmacist to very easily manage the inventory levels, choose minimum and maximums of different medications, have a planogram, which will uh, map out and plan exactly which medications need to be in the drawers and where they are placed. It also shows every action that has been performed, all the fill actions by each pharmacist, the remove returns, which doctors have placed which medicines in the return drawers and what doctors have removed the medications. It is a very, very important part of um, holding accountability to everyone's actions, to control and managing the system in a very easy and simple to use manner.